Mazibugo's move comes after her public fallout with Zile in November last year over the DA Parliamentary Caucus handling of the employment equity legislation. Uh, it's always week three, uh, every weekend, during a federal council at DA. And we come from a three-day conference as the Federal Council of the DA. Our mandate was to sign policies, which we'll be talking about during elections. As a party, we took a resolution that policies like the E and Employment Equity Act and other policies that try to bring the country together and redress the imbalance of the past, we need to accept that discrimination happens because of race, and we as a party, we need to take that into consideration when doing these policies of redress. BE, employment equity, Namangama policy as a Muklang and Nisis were set. Our policy is unashamedly that black advancement benefits everyone. And if there's any South African who doesn't particularly like that idea, there are many other parties to choose from. The disagreement led speculation in the party that Mazibuko will be challenged by Zilla's new favorite, DA spokesperson Musi Maimani. The party is expected to hold fresh elections for the position of parliamentary leader soon. Mazibuka has reportedly insisted that her decision to resign has nothing to do with her differences with Zile. She has been quoted as saying that she took the decision in September when during a visit to Yale University in the U.S. with other pursuing high-profile careers. Mazibuko said she had considered resigning before and taking a break to help clear things up for her. She added that she believes the decision is the right thing at the right time for the DA and for her because it will improve what she can offer the party politically. Mazibuka is expected to be away for a year.